Last time, on Sailing Kitty Week, we sailed from Menorca to the Italian island of Sardinia. Despite being becalmed and going really slow, it was our best ever passage. In this episode, we meet up with Eleanor's parents, see a local festival, and sail the south coast of Sardinia. So we just left uh, Torre de Canet, the anchorage where we landed, because uh, my parents are coming and we decided to um, see them in Carlo Forte, which is another island a little bit north of here, because there's some uh, strong easterly winds forecast and anyway, down here it's in the middle of nowhere, so they couldn't find a hotel nearby. Um, so yeah, we're quite excited to go there. It should be a really nice island. And we're going to treat my parents to a marina, meaning we're going to treat Kitty Wake to a marina and get it all cleaned up. I felt like last year when they came to see us in Milbao, it was a little bit of a struggle to get them into Marca. They felt um, like it wasn't a very seaworthy thingy. Uh, they just not used to it being a bit tippy and it's just going to give us the freedom to sort of go with them, explore uh, on land as well because there's meant to be at least 15 knots of wind and, uh, this weekend when they're coming and it's just nice to know that the boat is safe and we don't have to constantly go back to check on it so yeah, that's where we're going uh, we're going to spend this night in an anchorage on the south of the island and then move into the marina tomorrow morning We arrived, we're in Spiaggia di Guidi and it's a lovely, lovely spot. Not a bad spot to wait out for a marina berth. And yeah, the water looks kind of green and it might be one of the places we take our par my parents <laughs> to um, if the wind is good. So we're ready to go, we're going into the marina this morning. First med mooring ever, <laughs> not just in Kitty Week, but ever. And uh, fingers crossed it's gonna go well. We are all fended up and the marina is just about four nautical miles north of here. Ready? ready? Yeah. I think the anchor is behind, like it, yeah. Andiamo. <laughs> How do you say? Do you want to go to this beach? Voi andare a questa spiaggia. Yay! Yeah. Mm -hmm. What do you say? Uh, Rib is coming. Uh. So we just checked in and it's going to be 19 euros a night for a little boat and it's pretty good in the med in the middle of summer because it's between the end of June and uh, beginning of July. And now hopefully we can go find somewhere for breakfast. So 
So we spent the day doing a lot of chores, getting food, washing Kitty Wake inside and out. It was pretty good. And made some friends on the boats that more next was. And tonight is the uh, patron saint of Carlo Forte, well, of the island, which is San Pietro. So we're going to go to town and see what's going on for the big festival. The next day, my parents arrived on the ferry, so we invited them for a sail. There's a tiny bit of wind which we should be able to sail on on the way back and we're taking them to a couple of little calas on the south of the island of San Pietro and hopefully they can enjoy the boat life even though <laughs> it doesn't look like it's going to be very sunny again. Uh, for some reason every time my parents come to see us the weather is not very good. But yeah, hopefully the sun will come out later. Quasi dentro sei? Mm, sì. C'è la pelle di pollo. <laughs> On the way back, we gave my parents some sailing lessons and let them take over Kitty Wake. Bello. Ad agosto. Come è andata oggi? Ma Era partiti con una nuvolaglia terribile, pian piano il cielo si è aperto e anche il mare è diventato di un blu turchese bellissimo, una giornata complessivamente stupenda direi, mai fatta, perlomeno in barca a vela non ci andiamo spesso, vero cara? Sì eh! Sorry? Ciao! Well, the steering's heavy in reverse once it picks up speed. Yeah. I think you can slow down. Mm -hmm. Grazie di tutto! So we left my parents in Carloforte, they have their ferry back to Northern Italy today and we are going back to the anchorage where we were yesterday, uh, where we took them yesterday because I haven't done any work for about three or four days so I really need to catch up on that and Ryan needs to edit a few videos so we're just gonna stay there for a little bit and try and get up to speed with all our real life work stuff and then uh, keep an eye on the weather to see if there's any windows to move on. So luckily the forecast gives wind for today to make progress. So we're gonna go out and try and sail 45 miles to Villa Simius, 
which is meant to be like a really really stunning place but it also offers protection of both sides of the peninsula uh, which means whatever wind there is we can swap around so yeah I'm quite excited to uh, get to see this place Villa Simius is very very famous um, from an Italian perspective a lot of people go there on holiday because the water is meant to be crystal clear and really really good it's uh, 6 30 a.m. so we're gonna well, I made coffee so we're gonna have that but uh, we're gonna have breakfast underway so we save a little bit of time uh, I think Ryan is ready to pull up the anchor so let's go It's a really really lovely morning. The sun has just come out from uh, the mountains or hills I must I might say and we took out the Genoa just after pulling up the anchor doing three knots under the Genoa alone but we're expecting stronger winds today so we're we're prepared. Uh, yeah I guess I'm gonna go get uh, breakfast ready. It's a really, really beautiful sailing conditions. The waves are so gentle that you don't even really need to steer the boat. The friction of the steering system will just like keep it in line. And there's beautiful golden light coming from the low sun, which is just rising now over the hills. And it's really stunning all around really. We're in a bit of a dead patch, so on Windy we are in a spot where it's all blue and all around us is green. <laughs> so yeah, no wind around here, so we're motoring. It's actually really pleasant, it's not too hot because it's just 9am. Uh, so I'd rather be doing this at this time of day rather than later on when it's meant to be 34. Uh, that's Celsius by the way. And yeah, there should be some wind as soon as we reach the Bay of Cagliari and uh, it looks pretty strong and a beam reach so we should be able to make up for time then because we're trying to save on petrol so we're motoring at about three three and a half knots and yeah it's a really lovely day There's enough wind to sail now, which is really nice. Um, just got the white sails up because the wind's a little bit forward from, of the beam. 
is actually from the almost exact opposite direction as we were expecting so I'm not sure whether we are through the blue patch or whether it's going to um, die and then switch or what but we'll see for now we're making good progress towards our destination and yeah I think we're about 24 miles from where we need to be so yeah let's go on yeah. Wow, the water is crazy blue. We are doing a lot less motoring than we expected, uh, which is really great. We've been doing about five knots, four knots, sometimes a little bit more. And the wind has been from the completely wrong direction all along. So, yeah, I guess we'll go in the inside of Villa Simius Peninsula rather than on the outside as we planned but I bet it's as beautiful so it doesn't really matter so yeah I think we have about 12 miles to go I'm really looking forward to have a swim maybe go to shore maybe go to the beach I haven't been on, on a beach for ages We are reefed down, we have only the Genoa out but it's rubbed up and we are gonna go around this cape and it's gonna get rough so we're gonna put the camera away but hopefully it will be well protected in there. sunglasses I don't know whether it's visible it's much more crowded than I thought it would be but the water looks incredible if uh, it gets flat it's gonna be pretty good and yeah just uh, enjoying a nice night hi guys thanks for watching this is a, an update from our new to us boat Skua and uh, we just wanted to let you know then in the next episode we'll sail on a really cool performance carbon fiber sailboat from Sardinia to Cartagena with our friends Jenny and TJ and that will be the last episode before we move on to Skua so on to this boat back in January we ran a 10 day promotion for new patrons and uh, we promised them we would thank them personally on episode 34 so we wanted to give a special thanks to Robert James, Rita, Roberto, Sean, Steve and our longtime supporter Roy who upped his pledge during the promotion period. Thank you ever so much for becoming patrons and for your support and of course thanks ever so much to all of our patrons especially those who joined us uh, back in the day when we had about 100 subscribers. Uh, thanks again and uh, we'll see you next time.